I recognize public service to be my calling. I lost one election, that was in 1987, and I've never lost a, an election since that time. The second district, as um, we all should know, is the largest population of African Americans in the county of Los Angeles. The county is the largest county in the nation, and uh, the county of Los Angeles is the fourth largest population of African Americans in the country. And it's been quite an honor, quite an opportunity to use my gifts, my abilities, my sensibilities to represent our communities. And I've tried to do it to the best of my ability. And it's been very, very fulfilling, immensely um, important in terms of the, some of the things that we have been able to do. And so I transitioned from the Board of Supervisors on a very high note with a body of work that I'm very proud of. Are you excited about returning to the City Council? I recognize public service to be my calling. It would be rather mysterious for me to have been in public life nearly 30 years, three decades in June of next year and it not be my public calling. I do this because it provides a level of fulfillment. I do it because being elected 10 consecutive times to four different seats suggests that there are constituencies believe that I can do what I say I will do. And God in heaven knows that I've tried. And this uh, last stint is an uh, illustration of that. Have you ever lost an election? I'm just curious. I lost one election. In 1987, when I ran for the school board to an incumbent by the name of the Honorable Rita Walters, and Rita cleaned my clock, and the only thing that I could do as a result of that is before she left office, when we both served on the Los Angeles City Council together, was to name a school in her honor. That was in 1987, as I said, and I've never lost a, an election since that time.